Hey, hi, thanks for stopping by. I'm Angel and one of my main goals with this channel is to help you reach your fuller potential, to help you realize what's holding you back and get out of your own way so that you can bloom into your best self. And with that in mind, I thought I would go over nine ways that I am currently making money. I've been self-employed pretty much my whole life. I was selling fossil rocks on the side of the road up in northern New, New Mexico where there was not much traffic when I was six. And uh, yeah, even though I've had this entrepreneurial spirit as long as I can remember, I have often had a hard time putting, connecting, aligning that spirit with where the money is or... Um, well, actually, I've figured out in the last little while that I have had a lot of limiting beliefs that were keeping me from being successful, that were kind of instilled in me at a young age, as so many of us do. But that is a topic for another day. The topic I want to talk about today is how I currently make money in the hopes that maybe it will give you some ideas of how you can hustle up some cash if you're like me and maybe you're a little extra broke after this holiday season, which... Hey, by the way, Happy New Year's. If it's anywhere near New Year's at the time that you're watching this, it's uh, coming up on New Year's around here. We just passed Christmas. Anyway, let's get into it, shall we? Nine ways that I currently make money. The main way that I make my money is through eBay. I have an eBay store, and I've had an eBay store for 16 years now. It's been successful for about two-thirds of that. Successful meaning you know, paying the bills and keeping itself alive. The last few years has really been a struggle and and it's not really been paying all the bills quite and it's not really been keeping itself alive exactly, although it is still alive and I'm in the process of revamping my whole inventory and my image, on my brand image and uh, coming back strong in 2018. And in any case, I have a lot of experience on the startup end of it and I, even in my failing times right now make a little over a couple of thousand dollars a month uh, pretty consistently on eBay. That's gross. That's not after expenses, which is doesn't turn out to be that much after, uh, after expenses. Um, and that's, again, a whole other story. But in any case, if you're just looking to start off, not sure where you could make some money. I started on eBay when I was a single mom looking to, you know, figure out how to put myself through college and raise my son. And I started this little business. I kind of, I, I honed in on what I was interested in, which at the time was herbs and oils and natural healing and cosmetic supply. And so, um, that's where I got into it. And then I've, I've since kind of swum around, let's say in my store focus, um, and to my detriment. And so lately I'm refocusing on, on the niche of, of blended essential oils and, like uh, shamanic and meditation supplies, creativity supplies, if you will. And I'll have a link down here if you want to check my store out. And hey, I welcome your feedback as I'm in the process of revamping. I could use all the help I can get. So if you got any helpful feedback for me, let me know. Or if you want to buy something from me, please do. <laughs> anyway, that is number one way that I make my, my income for a long time now, for um, at least 12 of the 16 years that I've been on eBay that has been my main source of income. And at one point I had almost hit my goal of 10,000 a month in sales regularly for about a year. I was running in the, you know, in the seven to nine and a nine point eight a month range, you know, things were pretty good. And then I kind of dropped the ball. This is what happens to many a business owner like me when, uh, when we have some limiting beliefs keeping us from driving forward to success. So, uh, Another thing I'm working on right now, this is not one of the things I'm currently making money on yet, but it's something I hope to make money on in the near future and is an idea for you, which is a course. I'm writing a course on overcoming my limiting beliefs or how you can overcome your limiting beliefs. And if you're interested, let me know or give me your email or uh, look for a link down below. I'll be adding it as I when it's finished here in the near future. In any case... That's a great way of, of making money as well as uh, writing books and, and writing courses. And a way that I am currently making a little bit of money is writing books. So that brings me to, I uh, will call it number two way that I currently make money is through Amazon. Amazon has a lot of ways you can make money. They're kind of like, 
one of the kingpins of the world right now, it's seeming like. And, and in any case, they have a lot of opportunities from uh, self-publishing, which is how I'm currently making a little bit of extra money. I just started that last summer. I published my first six little booklets and one CD, which I'm really proud of for me and my band, a Thousand Words. And it was a great learning experience. I didn't do a perfect job. I could have, you know, with a higher budget and a little more time and money, I know I could have done a lot better and I will do better in the future. But it, the point is that uh, my, I got through the process and I do indeed get a little money every month now from Amazon from selling my ebooks and my paperback books. I haven't made any money from the CD yet on there, but I haven't, that's through Create Space, which is separate from Amazon at large and anyway that's another topic again for another video which maybe I'll get into if you're interested in that let me know and I'll think about putting together a video on the differences between create space and Amazon and uh, Kindle publishing because I've been dabbling in all of those and I could tell you a little bit from my beginner perspective of what I've learned in the last year in dabbling on those but anyhow uh, also Amazon has a great affiliate program it's not as profitable as selling your own items and getting like, you know, 35 to 70 percent of the sale is what they currently pay. But it is a six to eight percent sales of things that you don't have to cover, carry any inventory or do any any sales work other than like I do. Put a little link below to an item. And if somebody buys something off of Amazon after they've taken that link, then you could get a commission in the down the way in the future. It's not a huge money maker. And again, I'm not making I haven't actually made any dollars yet from the affiliate program. I just signed up for it less than a month ago, but I have made a few dollars, like over a hundred dollars in the last four months off of Amazon in, um, in commissions from Kindle and from, uh, my portion of sales of paperbacks and eBooks. So that's been exciting. It shows me that it works and I have big plans to accelerate my success in that area. Cause, um, that will allow me to do the things that I want to do. So that's where I'm headed in the future. But anyway, Amazon, I'm going to call that number two way that I make money. Number three way is Etsy. I have an Etsy store I've had for, I don't know, coming up on 10 years, sometime in the middle of my eBay days, I started a side um, Etsy store and it's got some similar things to eBay, but it's totally also totally different. So, um, I highly recommend that you look into that if you, especially if you make your own items, if you got handmade stuff, if you're an artist or a photographer and you got some, some unique things that you want to sell and you want to be able to have a, get, reach a market that actually appreciates your artistic nature or is looking for handmade stuff. And sometimes I think they have an antique section now also. So, um, it's kind of a different market than eBay, but there's a lot of traffic there, a lot of opportunity. It's free to sign up, costs you nothing and you might start making some money. So that is number three way that I make a little money now. And number four way is just um, hustling it. I make some side money selling stuff, random things that either people give me or I've bought and I sell for more. And I do that on Craigslist. I get stuff sometimes for free on free cycle and I've, and then, and then later decide I don't need it and resell it on Craigslist. I try not to do that unless I'm, you know, I don't blatantly get stuff from free cycle to resell unless I let the people know that I'm doing that. Cause some people are offended by that for various reasons, but actually also on Craigslist, you can, there's a free section on Craigslist. If you don't know already, check it out every day. There's free stuff posted. Some of it's really good and you could actually probably make a decent living hustling free stuff from Craigslist and reselling it on Craigslist again, or on eBay or uh, at flea markets. There's a myriad of ways you could go on. I used to do flea markets. It's kind of a lot of work to haul stuff. And since the internet has taken off, I've kind of, uh, I haven't been back to the flea market in like 10 years because or more because it's kind of a, a lot more work than it was worth now that we have the internet. But it is an option, especially, you know, if the internet goes down or you're in a, uh, you don't have good access or you just need to, you happen to see there's a market open and it's actually can be really fun, especially if it's a pretty day. You get to interact with people. If you enjoy that one-on-one, -on -one, uh, you know, hustle, the grind. If you enjoy the um, haggle with people, then markets are, flea markets or just markets in general are a great place for that. So, and you can make some extra money and I 
do make some money hustling out there. I'm getting ready to list a couple extra snowboards that I have on Craigslist, in fact, and a uh, snorkeling set that my mother gave me when she's cleaned out her closets recently. So, and um, yeah, that brings me to number five way that I make money, which is um, physical labor. I uh, just mentioned that I got that helping my mom clean out the closet. I help people clean out closets. I do some greenhouse care. I do some landscaping. I used to do a lot more of that and then I stopped doing it completely. And then recently, since my eBay business hasn't been giving me all the cash I want, I have been taking up some extra work that way. So uh, I, I, I did an extreme cabin clean out with some, with some rat poop in it this summer and I got paid really well for that and I um you know so I I do I I do what I specialize in I have some I cleaned houses and did landscaping and and uh some maintenance type of work kind of a Jane of all trades I've owned my home for a long time so I know how to fix things and paint things and and spruce things up and care for things and so um that's a skill I always have and can always go out and hustle some money with and lately I've been using that again so uh, one or two days a week, I hustle doing some physical labor. It actually feels really good to, to do physical stuff, and it's rewarding to see your work right in front of you. So uh, that's number five way is basically just odd jobs, let's call it, you know, uh, physical odd jobs. Sometimes they're actually not physical. I've had people pay me to do a little research. You know, again, it's just uh, making people aware that you're uh, in need of some money and that you have some skills and then picking up the saying yes to the odd job when it comes your way. Um, I will say as a side note to that, though, set your price. Know what your price is, especially if you have some good skills. And as you build, maybe at first you might have to work for free even a little bit to uh, build a clientele, build a reputation. But but know your worth and don't settle for less than your worth because um, cause people value you more when you charge a little more. And you'll value yourself more and you'll get paid more. So that's pretty good all in all. Um, number six is... Um, well, it's kind of tied to number five, and that is yard care and landscaping. I guess I kind of threw that in with the odd jobs. Um, I'm looking at my notes over here and trying to make sense of how I made that distinction. But um, I used to do more of that. I used to do some uh, fruit tree orchard pruning. And seasonally, sometimes people need um, help just with their gardens and uh, in the fall and in the spring especially. And um, I do, like, pick up leaves for free because I compost them. Um, and that's not really something I get paid for currently, but something that does um, benefit me in the long run. And I used to get paid pretty well. And in fact, if you if you want to break down the jobs that I do currently, uh, the one or two days a week, one of those jobs is greenhouse care. I water my mother's greenhouse once a week. And um, among many other things, she pays me because uh, she has the money and, and I need the money. But, because uh, I would do it for her for free. Because she's my mom. But anyway, the point is that I have that skill. She needs the help. She was paying somebody else to do the things. And then that person left town and I happen to be needing the job. So that's how I shuffled into that position. And, and what I do there is just every week water all the plants in the greenhouse, check the temperature, um, take off the dead leaves, check for bugs, spray things if need be feed things if need be, repot things if need be, that kind of thing. And in the summer when she has a garden, then I do, you know, the weeding outside and stuff. And I make a little money that way. You could too. It's, it's uh, the kind of work that anybody, well, almost anybody can do. I will say that I kind of have a natural, if I do say so myself, now it's that I've grown up in the country. I grew up with a garden. I know my plants. I know my weeds. And I'm uh, and I'm pretty handy with a shovel and a hoe, if you know what I mean. So, um yeah, I don't know what that means either. But uh, the point is that maybe you do need some skills. All of these things, though, are entry-level jobs that you can develop skills. You can apprentice with somebody, or you can just go out there and learn. And if you are willing to bust ass and, and listen to people and ask them what they want and then and then do your best to do that and keep trying to improve, you know, even still with my skills being pretty good, I'm always looking for how can I be more efficient, more effective. So I think that's crucial to being successful. And um, number seven way that I make money currently is Airbnb. This is a new thing for me, but I just started this uh, in October. That's uh, It's December now, so that's like, what, three months ago I started Airbnb. And my house, as you can kind of see behind me as I'm getting things, that's actually clutter from other, uh, from helping my mom clean. But in any case, 
I'm still in the process of remodeling. My kitchen and my bathroom are not in tip-top shape. They function fully, but they are way outdated. And, and, and I finally have the bathroom painted. The kitchen still needs painted. And I've been, I was hesitating to do Airbnb for a long while because I thought, you know, probably I need my house to be in better shape to rent it out to strangers. But I finally decided, hey, I, well, I was desperate for money to catch up on bills. Desperate isn't the right word, but I was getting there. And so, um, and I've been saying for a long while that I wanted to check it out. And so I used that uh, for momentum to force me to get my act together and do it because the very, like two days after I put a listing up, I didn't even finish the listing and I got my first rental for a whole month. And so that was kind of a neat way to break me into the experience and it went well. And I've since had, uh, I think five altogether guests for various first one was for a whole month and the second one was for um, nine days I think and then I've had a couple shorter term stays and anyway I've met some great people I'm looking forward to doing it more I'm I'm in the current in the process of getting another room my second bedroom in this side of the house ready I'm moving myself to the back of my house I'm going to Airbnb two bedrooms in the front of my house because well, it's just me now in my house. That's a lot of bedrooms. I actually have my head hut and back with a bed in it. And so, um, yeah, I don't need four bedrooms and five beds for one little old me, right? So anyway, Airbnb is being a great solution. And I've made, uh, you know, several hundred dollars a month so far since I started that listing. So, and um, it's a system that's increasingly convenient. They're figuring out taxes in a lot of, this, in a lot of the cities, including mine. So, um, yeah, if you're looking to make some money and you have uh, a home that or or space that you can rent a room in, then look into it. I'm currently finding it pretty pretty good side hustle money. It is work. You got to clean up or hire somebody to clean, and you got to deal a little with reservations in the listing. But it's pretty easy, all in all, side work, especially like I said, if you got the extra space that you're not using anyway. So that was number seven. That a way that I currently make money, Airbnb. Number eight is that I'm a licensed massage therapist. Um, and I know that might be cheating because you're probably, I mean, you might be a licensed massage therapist, but if you have a license in something, you're probably utilizing that. So maybe that's not a good idea for you, but maybe it is because actually I would encourage everybody to go to massage school, even if they don't want to be a massage therapist. And maybe you don't know. When I started massage school, I wasn't sure. And I have uh, I was licensed from 98 to 08. And then I let my license lapse for almost 10 years, for eight years, and then I just got my license again last year. I had to go through some rigmarole and some expense and some more education to come up to par with the current licensing. But, and I don't, I do it very part-time now. It's something that I really enjoy and I like to keep part-time. But I mention it because it's great to have a skill like that in your back pocket that you can take anywhere. And even if I didn't have my license, it's a skill and, uh, you know, shh, don't tell anybody because it's illegal to practice. If you've been licensed, it's illegal to practice without a license. But actually, if you haven't been licensed, then, um, and what they do is keep you from being able to be licensed. So it's kind of a weird scenario, but, and I'm not encouraging you to do anything illegal. And certainly I'm not encouraging you to do anything, uh, that makes you uncomfortable or that's inappropriate. But, um, helping people with therapeutic body work, which is what I do, deep tissue, therapeutic massage and body work, do a lot of stretching and trigger point therapy and things like that. And it's very rewarding work. And it's, uh, it's work that I can, that I know I have wherever I go, you know, and if I really wanted to, like I could probably set up a chair massage at a rest stop if I was traveling and, and, and pick up a few bucks if I needed to, or, you know, just knowing that I have that skill is kind of nice because people like foot massages and things. But no, as far as making money, it is, uh, it's not, people think it's really good money and it can be, I suppose, but it's actually really hard work. And the hour to hour and a half long massage that I am, where I'm giving someone a massage treatment is not the whole bit of work that I do because I also have to wash all the linens and I have to set up the room and I have to get myself, you know, keep myself in shape and in, in the right flow state and keep up on my education and, you know, keep myself limber, keep my hands in good shape and all that. So, um, and a great deal of education went into it. Keep my license up and, um, keep my office clean, mop my floor. There's all kinds of, of things that extra that, you know, set in appointments, all that is extra. That, and like, Recently, I got stood up after I spent a lot of time for a special client making everything, getting the heating pad out and making the room all extra warm. So anyhow, the point being, 
that um, even though I charge sixty dollars an hour for massage and that might sound that might sound like really good money and it can be um, it really works out to twenty to thirty dollars an hour by the time it's all said and done and that's still decent money so you know it's better better than no money and when I again I had given that up because my business was flourishing and I didn't need to work for you know I kind of saw myself as not working for an hourly wage anymore but I'm really happy that I have the skill and I'm really happy um, to be able to help people and make some money at the same time so massage therapy and body work look into it if you're interested there's schools around you can even get financial aid now to go i i wasn't the case when i went i had to pay for my school and out of my with a credit card but anyway um that was number eight and last but not least ways that i currently make money hustling is playing music performing and singing which has been a dream of mine since i was young and it was a dream I did not pursue for much of my life because I, I don't know, I was given the impression that it wasn't a, wasn't a admirable pursuit or a valid pursuit. And, you know, I, I'm not sorry, that, or that's, that's on me, you know, I didn't do it. But now I am doing it, and the universe has, is really supportive. It's only been um, maybe four or five, maybe four years or so now that I've been practicing almost every, I say almost because I haven't practiced yet today, but where I, I set an intention to get better and started practicing regularly and singing more often and posting videos of my really imperfect songs, which you can find on here if you're interested, basically just to get myself over being nervous and force myself to get better by practicing, practicing, practicing. So after like three years of doing that, I finally got in a band and now we have a few gigs, we get paid. It's not a lot, but I make, you know, 20 to 100 bucks in a night for playing and again uh if you think that sounds like a lot it's not because the hours that go into playing in a band are are kind of unimaginable really you can't even do the math on it and even the day of a gig you have to you know you have to meet before or show you know practice before you put all kinds of time into a set list you um you rehearse you know usually like right now i'm going to rehearsal tomorrow with the people i'm singing with this weekend and i'm not even getting paid for that it's just that these people i'm i'm uh flattered to be able to perform with and so i'm performing for for, for a drink and a song really and a smile and the opportunity to be seen up on stage with some of my favorite performers any case the point is that I do get paid a little bit right now and I could get paid more and so could you and that's um, just an exciting thing to to use your own skills and talents in my case I write original songs and I play a little guitar and sing and so it's super rewarding to even get to do that and have people respond dance and sing along and smile and tell me they like it and then on top of that to get paid mmm yep that's pretty good so I look forward to more of that I um, I live in a town where the going rate for bands, even really popular bands, is, is not really high. And, um, and so I'm more, I'm interested in, in capitalizing on the internet. I, I, I don't know why I think the internet's over here somewhere, <laughs> wherever the internet is, all around us, huh? Uh, I'm looking forward to finding ways of capitalizing on my music here on the internet, and I'm pretty excited about some of those ways that are becoming available so you'll uh, hopefully you'll hear more about that out of me and if you want to check out my music i'll put a link to my cd and or my uh reverb nation or Bandcamp or sound cloud down there i'm working on fleshing out all those they're still a little still a little under construction but i got some stuff on there now so me and my band and um yeah i i know that was a little bit rambly oh i wanted to say um there's a couple little extras, ways that I am not currently yet making money, but I intend to in the future. And one of them I already mentioned, and that's writing a course. I think, uh, you know, I have a degree in education and a super lot of knowledge. And I bet some of you do too, uh, have some special knowledge. And so if you can put that together in a cohesive course that can help other people gain those skills and that knowledge, then you can make a few bucks off of that. And I intend to do that. I intend to write more books, um, even though that was on my list. And... I uh, would love to start getting paid to build my Earthship inspired mega sculptures, as I'm currently calling them, but let's just call them mega sculpture uh, buildings, iconic buildings, landmark, landmark mega sculptures is what I want to build. And uh, um, I would like to get paid for that in the future, too. Right now, I've spent a lot of money learning and, and building my own. And that's awesome. And I uh, don't regret that for a second. I would do it again. But I'm looking forward to doing bigger, better, more of that, and maybe getting paid for that in the future. So 
I know you didn't really care about that. That's just me set into the universe, my intention and saying out loud, holding myself accountable to that. So uh, thank you for witnessing that with me. Uh, what, you know, I'm interested to know, do you have some ways that you're hustling to make money that I didn't cover that you want to share with the positive team here so we can learn from what you're doing, things that have worked, things that don't work. Got anything to say at all? Let us know down here in the comments below. And um, just to recap, there's eBay, there's Etsy, there's occasional Craigslist and FreeCycle, there's Amazon, both um, Create Space and Kindle and affiliate program, there's doing odd jobs and repairs, there's doing yard work and greenhouse plant care, there's Airbnb, there's being a licensed therapist or a qualified therapist of some sort helping people, you know, to expand on that, you could get a quick uh, certificate to do like hospice. I don't even know if you need a certificate. There are a lot of ways that you can make money helping people and it feels really good. It's really rewarding and it can be draining if you do it full time and it's your only thing. But if you do it just part time, some of the time, it's super rewarding, super fulfilling, feels really good and I highly recommend it. So, um, that was a side note. Another one is you could play music, you could sing, you could perform, maybe you could tell jokes and that's awesome. And um, also there is YouTube. Uh, I forgot to mention that. That's a growing field where you can make some money and uh, and or market some of your other skills that you're that you're doing. And um, there's sculpture artwork getting paid. I have a friend that gets paid for her art and her murals, and that's been part of what's inspired me to get more proactive about maybe getting paid to do a mega sculpture for somebody or, or something. So uh, or work on some of my mural work a little more, uh, a mosaic work rather. Sorry, pardon me. Any case. That was rambly, and I hope you liked it. Let me know if you did or you didn't. And uh, until next time, peace, prosperity, and possibilities.